Welcome to Candor Playtime. Hey there, everybody, and welcome to Kinder Playtime. Today we're doing a Play-Doh episode. We found this really neat looking princess Rapunzel Play-Doh set, and Emily was so excited about it that she decided to help us open it our, ahead of time, so that's really funny. She is really excited about playing with this and seeing all the things that it does. So we're gonna go ahead and open it today. <clears throat> and then, when we're done playing with all of the stuff, we can make a couple dresses for Rapunzel. Okay, so let's let's put Rapunzel over here on her little castle steps. Maybe. Maybe she won't stand up. There we go. Let's put it right there. And then we'll open up this really cool Play-Doh toy. Tangled is my favorite um, CG animation movie that Disney's done. I really like it. Okay, so here's this really cool Play-Doh knife. It's kind of thick. Um, we bought it for the knife because we had lost our knife, but then we found it again, thank goodness. Um, but but even so, this knife is really thick, I don't, except at the very end. I don't know how good it'll be for cutting Play-Doh. We'll see. But it also comes with this little like sun flowery star thing mold on the back of that. And that's really pretty how it has Rapunzel in the tower. And then that's her hair curling down the knife. That's really cute. Okay. We also have this Rap this little Play-Doh Rapunzel mold. And it's the face of Rapunzel. We'll have to try that out and see how, how well it looks. It looks really thin, but I think you'll get a good impression on your Play-Doh. We also have this really cute... Um, crown. I don't know exactly. Maybe it goes on this. There we go. I was trying to figure out what it did in the in the um, box and I couldn't figure it out and it's too big to put on our teeny tiny Rapunzel's or even just a regular Rapunzel doll. So, But it looks like it just is a decoration for your mold which is really cool. So and then we also have two cans of Play-Doh. They look like they're, they have a sparkly sheen. Yeah, they do, and it's purple and gold. So let's go ahead and open them up and try out the molds that came with the set and see how well our Play-Doh knife cuts. Yeah, this has a little bit of a sparkle to it. I really like that. Maybe, maybe if I smush it out, you can see it in the light. This teeny tiny little shimmers. This is different from the glitter Play-Doh. All right, so let's start out with our little pretty crown mold and see if we can get a decent Rapunzel face out of that. Yeah, you can see her pretty well. That's a pretty good mold, that's really cute. So I really like that, and I really like that the crown attaches to it, so it's not just some plain old Play-Doh mold. That's really cool. Now let's try the flower on the back of the knife. Pretty! We'll have to use that in our Play-Doh dress we make later. That's really cute. I really like that. All right, let's make some dresses for our girls. Get all our Play-Doh out. All right. I think I actually want to use the gold and then do purple accents. That sounds pretty good. That's pretty. Look how shimmery that is. That would be really pretty to recreate maybe Belle's gown as well. That is really, I really like this better than the glitter dough. 
All right, let's just smush it out and we'll make a pretty gown for her. This is making a um, Play-Doh dress is a really cool and fun way that you can play with your princess toys that you already have. So if you guys have any ideas for colors of dresses or designs of dresses, definitely send them in and I'll try to make them for you on the princesses that you like. I really like the gold on Rapunzel. It's really pretty. Now something I'm noticing is that all the shimmery stuff in the Play-Doh is definitely getting on my fingers, which is funny. I don't mind it necessarily. It's just really funny that that comes out on your fingers. Okay. Let's put some purple accents. I find that making Play-Doh dresses is really fun and an easy and creative way to play with your magic clip dolls or even you can do it with any doll really it just it's very imaginative and fun let's make another one of those purple flowers or maybe we'll make more than one See, that didn't take long and it's really cute and fun to do. And that is a really pretty Rapunzel Play-Doh dress. Okay, let's do one more on our big Play-Doh designer dress boutique one. Let's do pur a purple top. Just gonna make some little lines on her sleeves here. I think that's fun and cute. Now we just need some gold accents to make her complete. I really like the Design and Dress Boutique playset because it's a really easy way to enhance your princess Play-Doh play. And there's lots of different sets with different princesses, so you can get your favorite princess. Let's scoot her back so we can see everything. Let's make her a little flower or a star or something. Here we go. It comes with so many different molds that you can use and to make beautiful dresses and that's cute. That's a cute little gold flower. Cute crown. Yeah, I feel like every time I pull out this Design Address Boutique set, I find a new mold or something cool and new that I can do with it. Or that Emily and I can do together. It's a fun thing to play together with, I think, because little teeny ones can't do the play-doh molds as well but they can pick one and then you can do it and then they can pick where they want to put the mold you made for them okay so there's a pretty crown for our rapunzel all right so this was a really great play-doh set i really enjoyed it i especially really like the shimmer play-doh as opposed to the gold or the sparkle play-doh it seems like you can do a lot of really fun stuff with it, plus it's Rapunzel, which is a really cute and fun character to imagine with. So, um, like I said, if you have any Play-Doh dress ideas, leave it in the comments or maybe draw me a picture and I'll try to put it on your favorite princess. If there's any other kind of Play-Doh sets that you want us to do, let us know. Thanks for watching Kinder Playtime. Bye! Don't forget to like and subscribe!